back like we never left sv here with the live reaction to doom breaker first video of the new year happy new year to everybody but we back regular schedule programming we reading chapters 58 to 60 finishing the season one of doom breaker i'm super hype but the cliffhanger of last episode was we saw big z and our boy legola still deliberating on how to take down the blue dragon let's get into it doom breaker chapter 58 let's go start where we left off big z just boom smashed the bow why did you break this? I appreciate you offering to make Dariel a new bow, but we could have given this to another archer. We've already short on firepower as it is. Man, Z just broke that shit. He's like, I ain't playing with you, bro. But your human standards, by your human standards, this is a hero grade bow. It's expensive. What? Hero grade. Elise, appraise this for me. Is it really hero grade? Let me take a look. <gasps> wow, it really it really is, bro. Roran grading chart. An item grade um, classification system devised by mutual agreement among the Temple of Light. Um, among the Temple of Light, the Sky Temple, and the Adventurers Guild Association. Okay. So there are five item grades: normal, advanced, rare, hero, and legend. We've already seen a legendary item when old boy brought the um, bought the the crucifix or whatever it was to fight the ball um the dungeon raid before. We've seen legendary items already, so it's interesting. Uh, uh, it really is a hero grade weapon, combined with the fact that it belonged to the great Dariel. This would go for at least five, fifty thousand gold at the Rowan auction. Fifty thousand? Ah, my head, father. <laughs> Lord Zephyr destroyed my bow, destroyed my hesitation, not my bow. 50,000 gold? I'm not sure how much money that is. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a bargain. I'm weak. Dariel is clueless, bro. <laughs> that goes, he must be out of his mind, bro. <laughs> nah, that's too funny, bro. An old weapon. An old weapon. The item that was used to prevent the town from being um, contaminated. I don't have any of those things I use to depend on anymore. The only way to go forward now is forward. Mm. Yep. And to be honest, I'm actually excited. Boom. Boom. And his heart starts pounding, dude. I wonder what kind of weapon he's going to make for me. I happen to have some extremely high quality materials, so I'll make you a new one. Flag with the Zephyr last chapter. What high quality material was he referring to? Wait, could it be? Young branch from the tree of light, mana filled branch. Wait. Did he take that branch so that he can make me a new weapon? But the branch is too small to make a bow out of it. Or maybe it's not. And we see Dariel just thinking about it. What am I going to get? Doom Breaker. Oosh. Mm. So we see. We cut away to like a little throne room type area. We see Dariel and old girl with the the holy wa the vitality water from the, la from the lake. As well as the branch from the tree of life. Pouring in the cauldron. You see Big Z right there. Big Z. Please accept these. This is a water of the vit this is the water of vitality and a young branch from the tree of life. After experiencing death once before, I've become desensitized to the world around me. Most things don't move or excite me the way they used to. Having said that, this is truly astounding. It's beautiful. <sighs> and you see this water, it's like glisten. It's so clear, bro, that it's reflecting the gold from the cup and making the water look gold, bro. That shit is crazy. In your hands, you hold the last cup of the water of vitality. Although, 
if the raid is successful and the lake of vitality is restored i suppose it won't be the last cup of water isn't that right of course vix goes cheers brother and he boom downs that john bro ooh, 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 ooh. and we see boom we see a big zephyr starts glowing with this energy now this radiant energy My body is bursting with the uh, with a huge amount of vitality. Water of vitality. Water from the Vi Lake of Vitality contains a high concentration of vitality. I mean, of course. Perk 2. Hermit's Secret Skill. Maximize the effectiveness of all potions. Boost effectiveness 500%, bro. The effects of the Water of Vitality has been combined with Hermes' Secret Skill. I can't believe how well that worked. And now, in this state, I'll carry out drag dragonification and mana flow. Woo! So the man dragons up, mana flow. A type of energy control, an eastern technique for training mana. Causes mana to circulate throughout the body, the body's blood vessels. Enables one to control the flow of mana in order to heal internal injuries or boost one's maximum mana level through repeated training you know we see as well dragonfication temporary boosts the dragon's heart's power once per day giving you the appearance and abilities of a dragon during the duration increases by one minute every time the dragon's heart a power increases by one percent and big z is currently at only nine percent think about that bro think about that for a second we know how strong Zephyr is. He's only using 9% of the Dragon Heart's power, bro. 9%. Bro, come on. That's ridiculous. The conditions for the Dragon for the Blue Dragon raid are far more ominous than those of the raid of Eurydice's tomb, excuse me. Of all, first of all, there's a massive field of deadly poison with a radius extending six miles around the lake. And at its center, there's a dragon, the king of beasts. And we see the eye of the blue dragon right here. No human body would withstand a fight like that. I need to increase the duration and level of dragonfication. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And the best way to do that in a short period of time is to unlock the dragon heart's power with the water of vitality. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Big Z's plans all coming together right now, bruh. Because of the pressure it puts on one's body, the dragon heart's power is supposed to be released gradually and slowly, but we don't have enough time. Morai, the three goddesses of fate, skill, Moirai. An ancient meridian skill allows one to adjust adjust another person's mana. What do you mean adjust? Like give him more? Thankfully, he has everything necessary for the raid. A high concentration of mana from the great forest of Elfin. Vitality provided by the water of vitality. The power of a dragon thanks to dragonification. Now, I'll combine all of those using the Morai and pour them into the dragon heart to try and unlock it. That's crazy, bro. And we see boom, boom and Zephyr overcome with a strike of intense pain, bro. I, as this is getting injected straight into this heart, bro. I'll heal you, our mighty Arya. The, the the dragons the dragon heart's normal power is at 5%. 5.2. 5.8. 6. Oh my god. And they're just healing him, bro, as this, this is happening, bro. It's crazy. 6%. Urgh. The power resistance is too great. They don't want to mix with each other. 6.1. 6.2. Oh, 5.5. Oh no. The power dropped. 5. 4.7, please. Oh, no. We see a burning hand. 
right here. Mmm. Oh. Ned. The homie. Ned puts his hand on Zephyr's back. His breathing is unstable. And he puts him to help him out. The best person to assist... The best person to assist a master of Dragon King style energy control is another master of the same technique. Mm -hmm. And we see Ned, I'll guide you. Oh, I love this was again. Ned is really Zephyr's teacher. You know what I'm saying? So seeing him back in the teacher role, I love it. Even though like Zephyr knows a lot more now, it's still great to see, bro. Tame that wild power racing through your body, Ned says. Whew. Everyone working together, bro. That baby, Big Z, baby. Boom! Giant flash of light. Uh, huh? He looks like... Oh! <gasps> Yo! Zephyr looks fucking... Devious, bro. Yo, Legolas, he looks like, and he's just looming. He has full wings, bro. Horns and full claw, dragon claws, bro. Doom. We did it. Whew. That was brutal. Oh, piece of boom, pops over. <laughs> she said, whew. That was brutal. <sighs> Altair smiles at him. Very impressive. Big Z smiles back. Mm-hmm. Sir. <laughs> Bro. That shit is crazy. Dragon Heart normal power. 10.1%. He's only at 10%. It's not even 50. I thought this was like 50%, bro. That's what I thought. It's only 10. Bro. That's crazy. Skill. Dragonification. Second stage. Temporarily boosts Dragon's power. I know that already. Once the normal power reaches 10%, the duration increases by two minutes every time. Okay. Every time it's by 1%. So now he gets two minutes per 1% now, which is pretty lit. I'm still nowhere near the kind of power I had in my last life, but it feels like I'm finally starting to get somewhere. Until now, it was so frustrating not having any power. What do you mean, bro? You were buff. What do you mean, bro? I can't just sit around resting here after everyone else worked so hard for my sake. Can I have a towel, Dariel? Of course. I'll wipe this way for you. That's all right. I'm going to I'm going to get the materials for your new weapon now. Mm -hmm. So Zephyr chomps on the on the the towel. He's going to make it out of dragon scales. Bro, Zephyr is a fucking genius, bro. So we see he bites down on the towel. And then he takes a claw and gah, rips the shit straight from his shoulder, bro. Boom. Huh? Crap. What, what the? He just ripped off his own scales? You can't pierce... You can't pierce dragon scales with ordinary metal. But what if you use dragon scales? I'm still only at 19%. But, the, but these scales are from Kaiserus, the most powerful dragon. If I make him a bow and arrows with these, I'm sure he can deal serious, some serious damage to the dragon. Dude, Zephyr is raw, bro. When I tell you he's raw, the dude... And we see a panel of him. This shit is so unbelievably cold, bro. It's unbelievably cold, dude. Like, we see him, the towel still in his, in his teeth. A part of his arm is just ripped off, bro. Skin bare. It's just bloodied. And he has the scales in his hands, bro. It's fucking wild. I'll scrape off all the scales and make him the best weapon he's ever had. This will be the my first dragon weapon in my life. Crazy, bro. 
fucking wild, dude. This shit is ridiculous. This panel of him with the scales in his hands is honestly one of the coldest panels I've seen, bro. I'm gonna have to just give y'all a glimpse. It's it's unbelievably cold, bro. Just look at that shit. It's cold, bro. With the with the the towel in his hand, his whole bicep is just gone, bro. Come on, dude. It's just it's kind of ridiculous, bro. It's kind of ridiculous, dude. Bro, ridic absolutely ridiculous, bro. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> bro, all right, let's keep going here, bro. Let's keep going. <sighs> Fucking crazy, bro. Okay, we cut away. A dragon weapon. Well, I've never tried one myself. And we see they're like bubbling and like boiling the scales, I guess, to make them into like a malleable solution. But I'll need very high quality secondary ingre ingredients to create a weapon of that quality. Because ingredients can degrade an item if they don't match each other. Mm. See this? This is this is our greatest mana alloy. We elves are very proud of it. It's called clear gold. Wow. Noel. Blacksmith works blacksmith who works for the Queen of the Elves. Okay, lit. This is this should be strong enough to contain the black dragon's power. Clear go wow, bro. The ingredients of these bro. When I tell you the weapon Legolas is about to get is gonna be ridiculous, bro. We see clear gold, black dragon scales from Zephyr, blood rubies from Eurydice's tomb. Moon tree arrow shafts. We have everything we need. These items are ridiculous, bro. Alright then. Maid circle. We see Alt Altair. Puts it the maid circle. An ancient meridian spell. Creates a circular boost aura around the caster. The power and duration of all spells within the area boost by 100%. Damn, dude. Wow. Wait. So does that buff, does that buff Zephyr's dragification? Because we see him go into it right away. So would it last longer now? Interesting, bro. So Zephyr puts his claw in the little clear gold. Flow forth. Language enchantment. So he ping, makes the gold, bind it. And he's using the gold to, like, bind these arrows and stuff together. The scale tip for the arrow. Be reborn. Boom. Those. Those are the new items. <laughs> Sheesh. This shit is crazy. Yeah, it goes beyond the beater for sure, bro. Black Dragon Longbow. Black Dragon Arrows. This bow and arrow looks gorgeous, bro. It's beautiful. It's doom. Two weeks to go until the scheduled raid. The humans and elves are both busy preparing for the raid. We cut away, bro. I can't wait to see our boy. Like, I'll do some damage with those arrows, bro. <laughs> Combat units will be divided into two teams. You'll alternate between training and and hunting every other day. Lord Ned, the Temple Knight, will supervise training. Two weeks of Latin preparations? It feels similar for some reason. The two weeks are going to feel like a month. Thanks. The hunting team will fight their way through the plants and monsters. Our goal is to reach a mile east of the Lake of Vitality. We need to get there in less than 10 days. We see Ophelia pulling up, smoking these monsters. The, the hunting continued every day, and mountains of mana stones were extracted from the monsters. Although, they disappeared again almost instantly. I believe we'll just manage how we meet 
are golem production targets, Commander. Because mana stones, a type of mana crystal, are used for all kinds of things. Golem cores, building and reinforcing bases, and installing mana magic circles. Excuse me. A magic circle trap to protect the base. A magic circle of recovery to protect our allies. And most importantly, a magic circle to create a safety zone. So again, all these preparations are happening now. They're, and again, like you said, they're getting these cores and then spending them instantly on preparation, which makes sense, bro. Because this is a this is a big thing. If they don't take down this blue dragon, the elves are done. The elves' race is pretty much is finished. You know what I'm saying? It's just pack up. So stakes are high right now. If we create safety zones using pieces of the branches from the tree of life as a, as the core, the poisonous mist won't be able to come inside. I'll install them along with the path cleared by the hunters, hunting team. Sorcerers, I need you to cover me, okay? This is so complicated. I've never seen magic circles like this before. Oh, so these are slow. Even the, the elves are like, bro, hold up. These are some complicated runes, bro. I've never seen shit like this before. So, it's getting serious, bro. The magic furnace used to create items also required constant supply of mana stones. This many? And and you want me to make something like this as well? <laughs> I like a challenge. Let's go. The blacksmith's kind of a homie, bro. <laughs> After all, I am Noel, the greatest blacksmith of the elves. I'll give it a try. The goat, dude. He's like, shit, I'll do it. And as for me, you know, we see a beautiful shot, bro, of Zephyr on this, like, balcony in the sky, just training. Ha! 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 With Graham, bro, going wild. The dragon heart uh, is currently at 10.5 power. I managed to reach the second stage of dragonfication, but I can only fight for 10 minutes that's not nearly long enough. Mm. The dragon heart's power gradually spreads throughout my body, even when I'm not deliberately using it. But the more power I use, the more quickly it spreads and becomes stronger. Okay. Okay, got you. So right now, we see a little chart. Normal power... Power during dragification and duration of dragification. So we see 1% to 9% is normal normal power. And then duration during um, dragification is 9. So that's the max it can go. So when you do dragification, it goes to the top of that bracket, you know? So the first one is 1 to 9, right? So you go up to that, boom. And you only get 1 minute per 1%, right? Next, we have the range that he's in right now from 10 to 19%. And when you go drag vacation, you go up to 19. So even though he's at 10.5 right now, when he does drag vacation, he goes to, to 19. And then he gets two minutes per 1%. The next one is 20 to 29. Then he goes three per 1%. And it keeps going like that, I assume. I need to increase my power as much as possible in the time remaining until the raid, of course. Ideally, I'd like to reach 19% so I can use dragification for 28 minutes. But I need at least 24 at 70% to just be on the safe side, okay? So he wants to get 19, but if he gets to 17, he'll be okay. That's the only way I'll stand a chance against the blue dragon. Whew. Otherwise, there is no hope in defeating it. I need to use more. And more power. And we see he's just making, again, cutting off his scales every day. Making more arrows for our boy Legolas and shit. Until I reach my limit. 
ah, and overcome it. He's after going crazy, bro. The night before the raid, the lake is only a mile up ahead. I finish inspecting our base in the front line. Everything is in order. Our supplies are fine as well. Our troops are ready. Great. Make sure you get plenty of rest and eat well before the raid tomorrow. Okay, it's it's getting there, bro. We're, we're here. Ugh, I'm exhausted. The last two weeks for like two months. You have a pretty strong appetite today. I have always had a strong appetite. <laughs> Besides, we're not in a big hurry this time. So, hey, where'd your food go? Nom, nom, nom. This heifer ate it instantly, bro. Steak. Or what used to be a steak. I'm dead. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. I'm going to get some rest for tomorrow. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, so we out to your seas or boy Zephyr leave. She goes, oh dear. My skin is terrible after working so much. I think I'll need to turn in early tonight as well. Good night, everyone. I'll come with... And oh, he goes, Ophelia. Didn't you say you'd have a sparring match with me and Ned? Seeing what, bro? Ned is a true best friend and true homie bro ned saw zephyr leave sees ophelia leave right after zephyr puts two and two together and be like oh they want to be alone bro ned yeah yanks ophelia be like yo come over here bro <laughs> grabs her i never hey let go of me come on i want to test your skills before the way tomorrow i said let go Good luck, my disciple. And you see, Ned is truly a homie, bro. <laughs> and Altieri, Altieri dips off. Love it. I fucking absolutely love it. If someone had told me a year ago that this would happen, I wouldn't have believed them. We finished all the preparations, and the battle with the Blue Dragon is already tomorrow. A dragon? You must be joking. How could anyone defeat a dragon? Our guild simply can't, can't accept such a request. Please leave. Our territory has already sent most of our troops to the Eastern Front. So we don't have any troops left to send. Unfortunately, we won't be able to help you. What kind of nonsense is this? A princess fighting a dragon? Don't be ridiculous. You see, all she's getting all the letters that she had sent out asking for help. Replaying in her mind now, bro. He he he, princess. This is a problem in the plains of Danakil giving you a hard time. I know someone who might be able to help. Would you like me to introduce you? That swing disappeared with the, all the money. What a shame. By the way, if you're concerned about agriculture, why don't you buy some land here? The thing is, the price of land has increased fivefold in the last three years. So you don't have enough money. Rumors say that you've bolstered your military in the recent in recently out to hear my dear sister If I keep hearing such stories you might be suspected of plotting a conspiracy. So don't do anything rash It's just some advice from your loving older brother and the last letter is from his asshole her asshole brother leader of the worshippers, bro the scumbag himself No one helped me not even the nobles, nor the adventurers with all the power. The only people I could rely on were the team I had come to trust. Mm. But then, all my problems started to melt away like magic. A boy, and we see that boy Big Z with the kiss on the hand when he first met Altair. Go. Was it luck or fate? Some people might call it that. Oosh. But I don't believe in that kind of thing. If we see Zephyr getting changed, bro. He was about to take the clothes off, bro. Hold up. She pulls up on him. She about to smooch this nigga. No way. She goes to grab him. And she plants one on that boy Zephyr, bro. And she plants it on him. Oh, that boy Big Z a dog. <laughs> that boy Big Z a dog, bro. <laughs> my nigga Big Z, bro, 
tell you, she plans one on him, bro. This is the classic movie scene kiss, bro. Classic. We see the fucking 360 shot of them. The sun shining. I'm telling you. Goat. Goat. <laughs> huh? What the fuck did she do? Oh, no. She did something. So she has some kind of spell in her hand. I'm thinking it's cute, but it's some fuckery. No! Altair, why are you doing this to me? I thought it was supposed to be cute, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, so Zephyr ooh, jolts something on her. Whoa! Skill Kiss of Darkness. An ancient Meridian spell. Controls the mind of whoever the cat kisses the caster, weakening their fighting power and forcing them to tell the truth. Okay. So she's gonna ask him about everything. Oh, fuck. Princess, what are you doing? Shh. You can't ask me anything right now. Amazing, isn't it? The troops have all recovered. The elves agreed to cooperate with us. And the blue dragon raid that could never get off the ground is finally happening tomorrow. She's suspicious of him now. It's all thanks to you. And it happened in less than a month. So, bro, she's gonna fall. Oh, no, the kiss of truth, bro. Oh, no. I wasn't entirely sure about you, so I kept my eye on you from afar. But then... Crack. As soon... As soon as I saw that, I couldn't contain my suspicions anymore. I know you're after something. Why else would you draw your own blood and tear off your own scales like that every day? I doubt it's simply out of devotion. Nothing in this world is free. If you have some ulterior motive, or if you were working for someone dangerous, no one could stop you. Everything would be over. So I need to know what you're really after. Tell me. Who sent you? And it's over? Oh my god. Thank god. Bro, I thought this was chapter 60. Okay, we have one chapter left. Dude, I was gonna be furious. If they ended the season like that... Let's keep going here. Final chapter of the season, bro. Oh my god. My heart dropped <laughs> for a second, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh. So tell me, who sent you? Kiss. An ancient meridian skill controls the mind of the kiss, whoever kisses the caster. And he goes, ah. Oh. I came here on my own accord and I'm I'm doing this for you. <laughs> yes! Yes, Zephyr! <laughs> Riz her up, dude! Riz her up, brother! Riz her up, bro! God damn it! <laughs> I did it for you, princess. He isn't lying. The skill is working, yup. He ain't lying to you, bro. What do you mean? Mm. He goes, you already... You already died once for my sake. So I went... He's telling her everything, bro. He's telling her everything. So I went back in time to change that outcome. And her eyes is open, nigga. Her eyes is wide as shit. She like, what? What did you say? What did you say? And then she, we see a clasp, boom, on the neck of old Zephyr. Dark hand. Don't joke with me. And she's grabbing the old boy by the neck. Like, but you know, Altair, baby girl, baby girl. 
you know the skill's working. So you know he's not lying you. Come on. Come on. Uh. Don't joke with me. Your voice is trembling. You must be quite surprised. But as you know, so long as I'm under the spell of the kiss of darkness, I'm incapable of lying. There's a reason why a median magic is so incredibly powerful. Um, an integrity check is performed as soon as the spell is activated, meaning the spellcaster can see right away whether or not the spell is working. Even if this was her first time using the skill, she could see that it's making me tell the truth. And he's, he grabs her hand. Boom. That's why I've been wait, bro. This man Zephyr, bro. He's been waiting for this, bro. He goes, that's why I've been waiting for her to use the skill. Come on, brother. <laughs> Come on, bro. Because this is my only way to make Altair believe me until she learns communion. Ask me anything you'd like. <laughs> he looks down at her. I'll tell you everything you want to know. I am powerless to resist you. Not that I have any intention of resisting anyway. Zephyr, riz her up, bro. God damn. <laughs> dude. I fucking cannot, dude. Huh? What is it? Don't have any questions. And we have any questions? You're wasting a valuable skill time, Zephyr says. Well, you always, well, you can always cast it on me again. He pulls her close, hugs her. I don't mind how many times you do. And he kisses her again, Zephyr. The fucking god. This time he lays one on her, bro. Mm. The goat, the goat, dude. He got them walls, dude. Ah, <sighs> it's so infuriating. What the hell am I doing here? We cut away from my boy Big Z. What's wrong, Milia? What do you think that little bitch is toying with her? With us, I'm dead. That little bitch is totally toying with us. Talking about Altair. She just bosses around all day. Milia. Let me remind you of something. We were hired we were hired to come here by the Lord of Danakil. <laughs> we were hired. <laughs> but we only work for him in name. Our actual our actual employer is Princess Altair. She's our boss. I know. That's why I hate having to listen to her. <laughs> you know the professor will kill you if you don't do your job properly, right? I know, Milia says. I've always disliked her ever since we were at the academy together. She used to stay up all night studying as hard as she could and even ran errands for the professors. If you miss any more classes, I won't have I'll have to hold you back, princess. But I'm having I'm busy having fun. Ah, uh, why don't we have a magic duel? If you win, I'll mark you down as present. Besides, your class is so boring. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, I'll take yours a week. <laughs> but she never worked hard for anything. She thinks she can do anything she wants with her wealth and connections. She makes hardworking people like me look like fools. I can't stand people like her. Okay. Okay, I can see why you'd say that. I knew it. It's because it's it because she's always so critical of Princess Altair. I've been keeping an eye on the princess in case she ruins our plans. But really, she's been doing a good job so far. <laughs> I guess Amelia just feels inferior, literally, next to her. <laughs> but since we have a job to do. I'd better try to calm her down so that she doesn't do anything she might regret. By the way, Melia, I have a secret to tell you. Hmm? 
if you do a good job on this mission, I recommend you for a position as the exclusive sorceress for a nobleman in the castle, either Duke Goronetti or Marquess Klein. Huh? Really? She says. The Duke and the Marquess both requested a sorcerer with fighting capabilities, but the requirements are quite strict. You also have to be in the right age and the right requirement, right qualification. Excuse me. They haven't been able to find any suitable candidates, so they asked to be sent the best fighter among the sorcerers here who are here on the mission. Okay. But most of the people here are just assistants, and you're the only one who can really fight. I'm better suited to the lab. Once we defeat the Blue Dragon, your future is set. An exclusive sorcerer for no man in the castle? Me? Her eyes fucking start gleaming, bro. All right, we're done checking the golems. Let's go. <laughs> we need to get lots of rest for the battle. Ha, huh? sounds good. I'm dead. Wait, huh? So old boy is here applying something, the old man? They're finally gone. I thought those humans would never stop talking. What is he doing? Huh? Yo, so he's fucking writing some some runes on the bottom of the golem bro golems are set to carry out the magical instructions inscribed on them so by changing and adding a few words like this i'm sick i can turn these golems into faithful servants who only obey me <laughs> i can't wait for tomorrow no way, bro. I'm tight right now, bro. Doom. Doom. All right, they're on to the raid, bro. I'm going to be... Nag. I'm actually tilted by that, bro. I'm so tilted by that, dude. Pam Get in position, everyone. We see Ophelia. We see the mages there. Nobody has said it. Nobody has said it out loud. But we can all sense it. Today is the day of reckoning. Some will return. Some will return to dust, and others will witness a historic turning point. <sighs> that boy Zephyr, pose up, step, step. You see him, Lord. Um, begin Lord Zephyr's power boost. Most honorable goddess of light. A uh, merciful tree of life. And we see. I knew that this path would be a brutal one with much bloodshed on the way, but seeing it in person was even worse than I imagined. How can I put myself through all that misery again? I'm surprised you're asking me that. You haven't even seen the future, and yet you're walking the same path as I am. Facts. This is the second time around for me. So I'm going to do it better this time. And finally, when this is all over, I'll get what I really want. The goat. The goat. Stars? Grant me, grant the hero strength. Once I've cleared all the obstacles in our way and defeated every enemy, I'll give you the throne. And please make me your king. Except for the goat, bro. <laughs> My queen. Bro, he really is... Has too much swag, bro. Like, it's ridiculous. The man's charisma stat is at, like, plus seven, dude. It's ridiculous. My queen. Flash of light. Boom. That boy is after. Whew. And we see him. <laughs> Looking clean with Graham, bro. Looking clean, bro. Ugh. <laughs> oh, the blue dragon raid begins. To be continued. Doombreaker chapter 60.
end. Oh my god, man. Oh, I'm so I'm so hyped for this shit, dude. It was like these. The ending of this shit was like low key perfect, bro, because. I kind of, like, would have liked to see the blue dragon, but, dude, like, him, the stuff with Altair, and him being, like, I did it all for you, and her, like, now being, like, fully aware of the dude, and, and realizing that he's legit, it's beautiful, it's different, bro, it's different, alright, we have a translator note, hello, everyone, this is the creator of, of Doombreaker, Blue Deep. I have decided to wrap up season one and with with this sixtieth episode and take some time to regroup. I'm sorry to share some sudden news for everyone who's looking forward to more episodes. I wanted to push through and finish up the Blue Dragon Raid episode, but for nearly one uh, for nearly a year there was no time to slow down. I became exhausted on a tight schedule and couldn't create stories I was happy with and ready to share with you. Many of you have been anticipating the Dragon episode as much as I've been excited to draw it. So I didn't want to rush it and release it half-heartedly. I respect that. I will be sure to return or, um, ready to continue with the highest quality. I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who showed their love for Doombreaker Season 1, the managers of Web to, of Neighbor Webtoon, who provided such help as all and all the coloring art assistants, including Jiang Yi, Yi Li, who supported the series with incredible quality. Doombreaker will return. Thank you, Blue Deep. Thank you, Blue Deep, for making a good fucking story, bro. Because I can't wait to get back to this, bro. I actually cannot wait. Hopefully, it's soon, bro. Because this came out in September. So hopefully, within the next maybe month, month and a half, we'll see Doombreaker come back. Because, like I said... I'm so, so, so excited for this Blue Dragon raid, bruh. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be wild, bro. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate you so much, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back next time with more Doom Breaker. We got other reactions dropping on the channel. If you enjoyed, don't forget, drop a like on the video, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm gonna see y'all soon. Peace.